a mini tutorial on balancing chemical equations for year 10. First off, a chemical equation describes a chemical reaction. What is a chemical reaction? If you look on the internet, it says a process that leads to the transformation of one set of chemical substances to another. Something that I learned is saying groups of atoms are called chemicals. A chemical reaction regroups them. The simple equation for that is reactants go to products. That's a generalized word equation for a chemical reaction. And if you go to the syllabus, it says chemical reactions involve rearranging atoms to form new substances. And importantly, you should remember during a chemical reaction, mass is not created or destroyed. We're now going to have a look at a classical chemical reaction. And you may be told in text that hydrogen and oxygen is mixed together and it explodes to form water. The type of reaction is from what we learn is a, called a combination reaction. From the textbook it says combination reactions occur when two reactants, in this case hydrogen and oxygen, combine to form a single product, in this case water. The general reaction is x plus y goes to xy. It's also called all the time or synthesis reaction. Uh, but in HSC, this synthesis reaction means a combination reaction, which is to make a commercial product like ammonia. You can see down there a internet definition of a synthesis reaction. However, um, you'll find in the textbook, this is also a form of combustion reaction. This means from the textbook, a chemical reaction in which a substance burns in oxygen gas to produce a light and heat. You can see up here, we, hydrogen is included as a type of combustion reaction. They also include magnesium or metal, anything that burns in oxygen. They also make a point of saying that incomplete combustion is when there's not enough oxygen and you're left with the hydrogen, the magnesium, or in this case, the methane is left behind. If we go in and look a bit more, we have the word equation, hydrogen plus oxygen goes to water. So you actually physically write down the words hydrogen, oxygen, and water. Note that they've got a small letter. As best I could get it off the internet, this is a picture of it. They've put the balanced equation there, but up over here you have the unbalanced equation. I've got little dashes saying I'm going to put numbers in there. We have the equation here uh, where we've filled in variables A, B, and C to represent respectively the amount of hydrogen molecules, oxygen molecules, and water. We now work out for the number of atoms on either side that the atoms must be conserved on one side and the other. So we've got two times A for hydrogen on the left-hand side, two times C for hydrogen on the right-hand side. Whereas for oxygen, it's two times B. And we start off by looking at the largest mismatched variable. You'll have to get a hang of it. It really doesn't matter if you pick the wrong variable, uh, and we start guessing b equals 1. If b equals 1, we put that into the bottom equation, we get c equals 2. Put c equals 2 into the top equation, we get a equals 2. And you substitute those in to get the balanced equation.